Construction of the Lento and Mayflower MRT stations has officially begun. The two stations on the new $24 billion Thompson East Coast Line are expected to be ready by 2020. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, who is also MP for Ang Mo Kyo GRC, was at the groundbreaking ceremonies this morning. Sarah Gross reports. <laughs> Groundwork has begun on the new Lentor station located in the Yochu Kang area. When the station's ready, residents can expect to cut down their travel time to places such as Jurong East and Holland Village by at least 15 to 20 minutes. The station will also be the nearest one to the Singapore Zoo and River Safari. Nearby, residents in Kebun Baru are also looking forward to improved connectivity with the Mayflower station. The two stations on the Thomson East Coast Line are part of the wider rail network, which is set to expand further. 2030, that is about 15 years from now, we will double our network and nearly every household, 8 in 10, will be able to live within 10 minutes of a train station. So you come downstairs, you walk 10 minutes, you get there already. And I think that we will make Singapore a really convenient and good place to live for people of all ages. The Thomson East Coast Line is Singapore's sixth rail line. The Lentor and Mayflower stations are adjacent stops on the line and will connect residents in the north directly to the city. It will be very good as I age. I, I don't think I can drive or take uh, other public transport. So a train uh, bringing me down to town in 10-15 minutes is very good. We no need to take the feed bus, go to the bus interchange there, and then from there travel to the, the town city. Prime Minister Lee also pointed out that communities tend to grow and thrive around MRT stations as such each station develops its own identity. Now for Mayflower MRT station, its design will be based around the theme of birds so as to reflect Kebun Baru's bird singing club. Mr Lee added that the area around the station towards Teachers Estate will be further developed as earmarked in the Urban Redevelopment Authority's master plan. He also said residents in Ang Mokyo will benefit from the upgrading of the signaling system of the North-South Line. More trains can be added during peak periods when the works are done by 2016. In addition to the rail network, Mr. Lee said Singapore is improving its bus services with the Bus Service Enhancement Program. It will have 1,000 more buses nationwide by 2016.